What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video and another video in this series, another episode of this series. We've already done the top goalkeepers for all budgets. These are just going to be GP players. So standard GP, which is the in-game currency. You can see there that I've got 6 million, but I've got a lot of these players. So we're going to be doing a list mostly for newcomers. If you are looking for a striker to base your team around, this is probably the most requested one. We will be doing attack and midfielders next and then working our way through the different positions. So we're going to start off with number eight which is Lewandowski uh he is 1.1 million which look he is on a rating a lot of the time and he's got some fairly beastly stats but I think for that price you're going to have to get the most bang for your buck and I think that he does let himself down or this card does let him down a small little bit because it's very hard to base your entire team around uh, a player that's this slow now he is a goal poacher I will be doing a video on player styles quite soon he is a goal poacher, which means he's going to be in around the box. You need to be crossing in. You need to be passing the ball into the box to him to turn and score. You're not going to be dribbling with Lewandowski. So if you are going to be obviously looking at somebody that's a little bit more quicker and mobile uh, to bring into the play, uh, such as Mbappe, we will get to him on the list quite soon. But for Lewandowski, you are going to be playing a very specific play style with him, which is, you know, long balls. Uh, when he gets the ball, you're not going to be taking on defenders. You're going to basically be shooting, finesse shots, curl shots, long range shots, head getting on the end of volleys getting on the end of rebounds and stuff like that i think for 1.1 million he is quite costly though which is why he's obviously eighth on the list even though his rating is ridiculous so when we max him out you can see here that he goes to a 96 overall we're on eFootball db there are different versions of him like player of the week and stuff as you see here that are absolutely beastly as well but i think that this version of him trained up is quite decent 96 overall uh, 92 offensive awareness his speed is only 75 acceleration 72 that's not great but finish in 92 and header 87 as well as jump and physical contact in the 80s so not bad at all and kicks us off with a very decent player in this list and he is the most expensive so i think in this list it does work against him slightly all right, next up, we have got Darwin Nunes. He's not been lighting it up in the Premier League so far with goal scoring, but I do think that this guy does have bags potential. He's only 43,000 GP. Now, there are a couple of players in this list here. You can see Alvarez, and I would also say Martial, that kind of like fit this bill for fast, kind of tricky uh, center forwards. But I do like Nunes' card, right? He's got unwavering form, which is always a positive. He's also got double touch, which is good to dribble with. He's got long range curler, which I love. Dipping shot, first time shot, and fighting spirit. So he does offer something kind of unique and a little bit different than your traditional center forward. 37 levels to go as well, which is quite decent. Now, if you are going training him up, he does go to an 89 overall based on this training guide. 82 offensive awareness is pretty poor for you know linking in he is obviously a goal poacher so he's going to be in around that fox in the box area as well just on the six yard box and just hunting for goals all the time now we've given him 13 stat upgrades into dexterity 10 into shoot 9 into lower body and then the rest into dribbling and aerial strength don't forget as well with the team play style with all these standard players they're not set at 90 they're set at their default team play style proficiency so you will need to train that up as well but yeah very decent card obviously let down by his finishing and his offensive awareness but for the price i think you get a lot of bang for your buck for forty-three thousand gp so he is seventh on the list number six is vlahovic a very very good player as well not having the best season or you know not probably being the best move going to juventus but uh 260 000 gp he is quite expensive but you are getting a very very solid player for that another goal poacher unwavering form uh heading knuckle shot dipping shot so this kind of this guy lads to me right genuinely reminds me of cristiano ronaldo his stats align very very similar to ronaldo and he is the best of both uh, worlds you've got a little bit of pace with him obviously um his dribbling and ball control are quite poor so you can decide to train him up a little bit different if you want to you could put them into dribbling there and have a few more points i would leave it at that i would try and get his dexterity up to get up his balance and his offensive awareness as high as you possibly can and then the acceleration 85 finishing is quite decent now he is he is costly lads look let's be honest he is costly um but when we train him up we are going to have those as his stats my notepad just fell 
But um, yeah, when we have him as his stats here, we're going to be looking at, at the maxed out version of him. Quite decent. And as I said, he does remind me of Cristiano from maybe two or three seasons ago where he wasn't lightning quick, but he was always in the right area at the right time. Speaking of Cristiano, we do have him here. He's for 490,000 GP. So very similar review of that card. Ronaldo is scoring goals all over the place in eFootball. A lot of people using Ronaldo at the moment. His standard form doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. He's never usually down, even though he does have standard form. Finishing 87, 90 offensive awareness, 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 88 jump, 88 kicking power. He is the complete forward, in my opinion. He's perfect for anyone that's learning the game, that's practicing the game, that doesn't have to rely on blistering Mbappe-type speed. And it just makes you kind of focus on what he's good at, which is, you know, playing him similarly to how you would play Lewandowski, you know, shooting on sight and uh, bringing others into the game without having to rely on blister and pace. And of course, he's got bags of player skills as well. So, you know, he's double the price of uh, Vlahovic, but he's half the price of Lewandowski. So make of that what you will in terms of if you have 500,000 GP to spend, but he's definitely worth having in your squad regardless. I mean, it's Ronaldo, man. It's Ronaldo. You have to have him in your squad if you've got the money. All right, let's up next. We've got David. Now, this guy is a very, very interesting choice, right? And I'm going to show you why. He is always usually on good rating, right? Because he plays in the French League with Lille. Uh, he is on wavering form as well. So you're going to have a player that is usually up more often than not. Excellent player skills. Everything that you could possibly want apart from curled shots. That's the one thing that lets him down. But he has a very unique player skill for a center forward, which is first time pass. Or sorry, first time shot and one touch pass. So to have those, you've got a lot of options whether you want to turn and shoot on site or you want to bring others into the game without having massively good passing stats, right? So when we actually do max him out, he goes to a 90 overall. We do train up a long ball counter to three to give us a 96 team play style proficiency. Look at those stats, man. 82 finishing, 85 offensive awareness, 85 balance, 87 speed and 92 acceleration. I think he is a fantastic player. And for the price you're getting him as well, man, 64,000 is nothing. Like, it is literally nothing. And that is why he is fourth on the list. Give him a go if you're struggling to find somebody to really, like, build a squad around. This guy won't let you down. Now, lads, we are moving on to the third best player center forward for GP. We're leaving out Harry Kane. We're leaving out Benz. We're leaving out a couple of other players that I know are good. Immobile. Um, who else do we have? Moreno. We've got Jesus. We've got Jota. We've got a couple of other guys there that are probably a bit cheaper. But Haaland is, is number three on the list. He is on D-rating this week. He didn't have a great week last week. But the fact that he's super sub alone makes it worthwhile. He's got a wavering form as well. So he is definitely going to be one of the best in the business. Now, when he Football 22 launched, he was probably the top striker to have um, because of his just absolute dominant finishing and his offensive awareness. I do think that his balance lets him down, as you see there. He's only got 52 balance. And even when we max him out, like we are getting 90 finishing, offensive awareness, speed, kick and power and physical contact. But we are getting that 64 balance. So you do need to try and play him in a very specific way. You're not going to be playing him like Mbappe or Romario or Romanegi or Michael Owen or any of those guys that are actually going to take on opponents. This is literally shoot on sight at its ultimate so i do think he's worth it um but he is only third on the list because of those couple of reasons and the balance is a big killer as well for him in my personal opinion and now we have our second player that is there number two on the list it is inter milan's lataro martinez the argentinian world cup winner this guy is the real deal, man. He is a beast of a player, unwavering form. He's got everything that you could possibly want apart from a long uh, range curl. And he doesn't have first time shot either. Uh, or sorry, one touch pass either. He does have first time shot. Um, but when we train him up, that's when you really see him come into his own. And he genuinely is a, a really cheap version of Mbappe. And the closest you're going to get to Romario for a standard GP card, right? 90 offensive awareness. 84 speed and finishing, 90 balance and 88 acceleration. Perfect stats for a perfect center forward. And he is usually on A form or B form as well because he does be playing well for Inter Milan. And then last but not least, we have the million dollar man, Kylian Mbappe. So Mbappe is probably the, the main man on everyone's list. He is on D form this week, but look at those stats, man. 90 offensive awareness. We've maxed him out with 10 dexterity and 9 shooting. We've got 90 speed, 95 acceleration, 89 balance, 87 finishing. He's also got 80 stamina, which means you can play him every second of every game if he's on form. Now, look, when you are leaving off a couple of these guys, obviously Mbappe is going to be the top draw for you. 
for 1 million GP. It is a lot of GP, obviously, but you are getting a beastly player. You're getting the best center forward in the game for GP that can compete with the legends and the epics. So that is it for my top center forwards for GP for all budgets. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we will have attacking midfielders up next. A very important position. Until next time, peace.